Welcome to our lecture online and now we're going to do now we're going to do a few examples mix things up a little bit to see if you can figure out how to solve these problems. So in this case we have a right angle triangle we're trying to find x and y this happens to be the adjacent side to the angle that's given and the opposite side to the angle that's given we're given the hypotenuse so how do we find x and y? Well since x is the adjacent side and we're given the hypotenuse we probably want to use the cosine of theta so we realize that the cosine of theta is defined as the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse and in this case the adjacent side is x and the hypotenuse is given as 80 and we're looking for x so we can solve that equation for x now we can say that x is equal to 80 times the cosine of theta and since theta is given to be 60 degrees x is equal to 80 times the cosine of 60 degrees of course the cosine of 60 degrees is one half so x is equal to 80 times 1 half or we could say that x is equal to 40 all right so have the problem done what about the other side the opposite side well for the opposite side we want to use y uh, not y we want to use the sine of theta by definition the sine of theta is equal to the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse so in this case the opposite side is y and the hypotenuse is equal to 80 so which means that y is therefore equal to 80 times the sine of theta and since theta is given to us as 60 degrees y is therefore equal to 80 times the sine of 60 degrees and the sine of 60 degrees is the square root of 3 over 2 so y is equal to 80 times the square root of 3 over 2 whoa 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 not quite like that it's equal to the square root of 3 divided by 2 like that and so 2 goes into 80 40 times so therefore, therefore we can say that y is equal to 40 times the square root of 3 and of course with a calculator we can find an approximate answer by um, simplifying the square root of 3 but anyway that's how we do that so in this case we're looking for the adjacent side and the opposite side for the adjacent side if you know the angle and you know the hypotenuse use the cosine and for the opposite side if you know the angle and the hypotenuse use the sign and that's how we do that